Is your right arm okay? Nurses and doctors at hospitals across Richmond are just now getting their flu vaccinations. This year, a delay in the vaccine's release was so it might better match viruses expected to circulate this year. And doctors fear an active flu season. Dr. Marsh Cuttino is the chair of emergency medicine at Henrico Doctors Hospital. One of the things we look at when we are trying to predict how hard the flu is going to hit us is we look at Australia. So this year, Australia's had a very bad flu season. Last time Australia had a super bad flu season was 2017, which we were also hit very bad. According to the CDC, the flu vaccine has been shown to reduce the risk of having to go to the doctor with the flu by 40 to 60 percent. The vaccine can also reduce the risk of hospitalizations, especially for children, older adults, and those with compromised immune systems. A 2017 study showed that the vaccine can significantly reduce a child's chance of dying from the flu. Studies have shown that children who have got the flu shot, even if it's not 100% accurate, have less chance of dying. So that's why it's always important to get your flu shot, even if the actual flu shot for that specific year is not as accurate as it could be. Doctors say the flu vaccine cannot cause the flu. And even if someone is exposed to the virus, the chances are the vaccine will decrease the severity of the illness. Studies have shown that the more flu shots you get over years, you have increased immunity to the flu. So even if you get your flu shot, if you get the flu, you may have a less significant illness. Doctors recommend that you get your flu shot by the end of this month to offer the best protection. Remember that getting vaccinated for the flu not only protects your health, but people around you who may be more vulnerable to getting very sick. Working for your health, I'm Tracy Sears.